Hey guys, you are watching Kim's 3 DIY. Today I'm going to make a review of our TiVo Tarantula. It's a $200 3D printer. I bought a couple of weeks ago and I got it today. So let's check it out. The first impression of the 3D printer kit is good. All the screws and nuts are marked by numbers and put into separate bags. You can easily follow the step-by-step -step manual that's included. There is great images that describes on how to assemble specific components step-by-step -step through all the build process from different views and angles. I was impressed that a 3D printer kit in this price range included a heat bed that was already insulated from the backside. So there's no need to insulate your bed with a cardboard to be able to print ABS, you can just print it as it is. And there is no need for any soldering, since there already is a quick connector where you connect your heat bed to your controller board. The included uh, controller board is an MKS Base 1.4 board. It's a typical 80 mega board with 5 stepper drivers. The stepper driver is A4982 steppers. Since there is 5 stepper drivers, you have the ability to upgrade your 3D printer to be able to handle dual extrusion. Also, don't worry about tools. All the needed tools are included in a bag. Enough of detail, let's start this build. The motion in the y-axis is great. The Tarantula uses the Wii wheel technology. I think this will reduce the noise level quite a bit. This is the moment you all been waiting for. It's the moment of truth. Let's see what the TiVo Tarantula can do. One of the first thing I printed was a fan duct cooler because the Tarantula lacks a cooling fan for your 3D prints and without the cooling fan you won't get very good 3D prints. In one way I wonder why TiVo won't just include two radial fans, it's a dollar or two, but um, it's a $200 kit, it's not worth to bitch about, just print your own and buy two radial fans and you're good to go. The other thing I printed was a 3D Banshee and oh, I was impressed. For this kind of money, I can almost guarantee you for certain that you won't get a better 3D printer or bang for the buck. Some of you will probably ask, what about ABS? Yeah, why don't you have a look yourself? I think it's really good. I had no problem with sticking to the bed whatsoever. I actually had problem to remove the prints instead. Absolutely great layers. 
But uh, with that said, I must also say I'm not a big fan of uh, PE sheets and uh, stuff like that on the bed. I'm a glass guy. The great thing with glass is that the prints will stick as long as the glass is hot. As soon as the glass starts to cool down, uh, the prints automatically starts to pop off the glass. To make sure that it adheres even better, I use 10 parts of water and one part of just uh, regular wood glue or PVA glue. Now you all wonder where can I get this glass surface? You can buy it on eBay or probably anywhere. Uh, I'm just too cheap so I went to IKEA and I bought uh, four mirrors for the price of like six dollars and then I bought a glass cutter. So uh, yeah I just cut it to fit the bed and then I used some bulldog clips to keep it on the bed. I applied the PVA glue or the PVA slurry or what shall we call it with a regular sponge. I apply it to the cold surface and then I start heating the bed. And um, I wait until all the glue is dry, it takes about two or three minutes. And then it's just to start printing. So this is what the bottom of the 3D prints looks like if you're printing on a glass surface. As you see uh, it's all glossy and shiny, no lines from any tapes, rests or anything. I didn't have to use any force to get the print off the bed, it just pops right off. And uh, also I think this is an absolutely amazing 3D print. And for you who's new to 3D printing, Maybe you think that it's a lot of settings that you have to set up, but uh, I actually haven't changed any setting except for the retractions distance from 0 to 8 mm, else it's right out of the box. As with all of these 3D printers in this price range, there is a lot of options for customization. I think it's a good idea to 3D print and use Z-axis bracket because the standard one is a little bit wobbly but uh, as soon as you got your printer going you can print one. I will include links in the descriptions for the SDL files for the fan duct and the Z-axis bracket but there is also a lot of other upgrades on Thingiverse that you can check out also. Another thing that's great with the Tarantula is that uh, it's very modular. That means if you want a bigger print volume in the future, you can just buy some longer aluminium extrusions for the Z and for the Y axis and make your print volume even bigger and you don't have to buy a new 3D printer. Just a quick summary. If you're looking for a cheap 3D printer that can print both PLA and ABS, this might be the 3D printer for you. I think it gives you a lot of bang for the buck. It's very easy to put together and there is plenty of opportunities for upgrades. There is a lot of resources at Thingiverse for the TiVo. And there is also a great community if you would have any problems with the Tarantula. I built a couple of 3D printers by now and uh, if someone would be new to 3D printing and ask for a good 3D printer to start with, this would be the kit I would recommend. Check out the links in the description for the 3D printer and thank you guys for watching and I hope that you will subscribe to follow my new projects.